Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Planet Crafter. Yes, the game is finally updated, which means... <gasps> what the hell? I'm already in the insect stage. I'm in the insect stage. Woohoo. So if we head outside, are there insects? Where are you insects? Where are you? Where are you? Oh yes, between last video and this video, the game updated adding insects as well as waterfalls apparently. And I guess they also tweaked where each stage happens so i was at 44 gti which meant i was like three percent of the way towards insects uh, but now I'm, I'm already there sweet so first things first i guess we're going to go into here and we can see what we have to unlock and what we have unlocked so this is definitely new the incubator use this to create new insects larvae Ooh. okay so if i go into my inventory build thing Oh, look, what's that as well? A butterfly dome. Insert butterfly larvae and to increase insects. Level. Oh, nice. Okay, this is cool. So down here, we've got the incubator. That needs tree bark, fertilizer T2, super alloy, and oxygen. So let's go build one of them. I think stored up in these lockers, I should have every resource that I need. So there's some tree bark. There's some fertilizer T2. Over here in the actually labeled super alloy locker, I have super alloy. And then for the oxygen, I'm just going to head outside. I'm going to jump down here. Then... If I head over to this machine, sometimes this has oxygen. It's a gas extractor. Mainly it makes methane. Ah, oh, yes, but there's the oxygen. So now we've got the four resources we need. We can build this and it looks like it goes indoors. It doesn't want to be outside. Okay, let's just go back upstairs. And then in here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this over, over there, I think. Boosh. Oh no, the power went out. So that's one thing we need to keep an eye on. Look, all my screens have gone dead. So this shows me how much power. So we're using 5,040 k kilowatt hours i don't they still haven't got rid of the blooming dash kilowatt per hour isn't a thing kilowatt hour is a thing get rid of that line please devs uh, but we're using 5032 so basically i need to quickly build some form of power because look over here all my <laughs> all my eggplants they're not going to be growing if we don't have power that's a lot of eggplant did they make them bigger or something i feel like that it looks like there's more than usual right anyway i've got two uranium rods i think i can create another one if i go into my radioactive do not touch. The person who created that sign died while writing it. Yeah, if I grab nine of these and come over to here and I can create another rod. Mmm, roddy. And then I just need explosive powder, which I need two loads of sulfurs and iridium. Now, unfortunately, my eggy farts thing is completely empty, so I don't have any sulfur. And I assume this is my teleporter. I assume this doesn't work. Oh, it does work. It works without power. Okay, that is good. Although not good. My hydration level is critical. I think there's water down here. There is water down here. Let's have a little sip of drink there we go right okay so back up here we head along this way and yes i i do have a jetpack strapped to my back in case you're wondering if we head into here this is my mine yes it mines sulfur so i think we'll just grab all of those we'll dump the common resources we don't want and then we'll head into the cave ourselves back into the teleporter and we're gonna head to homer sweet homer which is my home base so if i store some eggy farts in that locker there we go grab an iridium from over here go over to this machine build some explosive powder. Oh, look, it's got egg all over it. And all we need to do is jump down here, go over to this thing, which turns the atmosphere into water, and grab three of them, and then we can build a nuclear reactor to go on the end of the chain. Nice, and power is restored again, which means all my things like drills, heaters, malfunctioning R2-D2s, yeah, they're all helping me terraform the planet. So, back upstairs and let's check out my new incubator oh look at that it sort of looks like a snake habitat that sort of freaks me out a little bit right we've got two screens we've got dna recipes and the actual incubator so basically it looks like there's loads of lava to find and if we mix that with fertilizer and mutagen we'll get some insects uh, the other thing we have to build is this, a beehive. That needs bee lava, super alloy fertilizer, and bioplastic nuggets. I have all of them except for bee lava. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, I'm going to go explore. See if we can find some more bugs. But first, I do actually need some food. In the bottom left, you can see my hunger is a bit low. So if I just grab some eggplants, I can literally eat these raw. I might take a couple with me for the road. I guess we're going to head, oh no, there's a storm, there's a storm. I can't really see anything. But yeah, we're going to head out and we're going to try and find some lava i guess now honestly not a clue where i'm gonna find these are they just like literally dotted around anywhere or like surely they're tiny i'm not gonna be able to see them am i yeah what's this what's this behind a rock there's a bit of grass is that normal is that normal oh yeah i think that's where a zeolite was before okay yeah really not sure what i'm looking for here but uh, at least we get to take another look at our bridge i'm very proud of my bridge a proper cable stay bridge love to see it now let's climb up this vine and let's walk across it again 
I think we do this every single video, but I love it. It was like 12 hours work. Let me have this. Oh, look, there's oxygen capsule. I think I'll take that. Good work past Matt, looking after future Matt. Oh, look, there's a iridium rod there. Why do I leave that behind? And some super alloy and some osmium, blooming out. And then loads of resources I don't need. I think that was when I was creating my bridge. I needed lots of iron. So I had some mine set up here and they're just all the scraps I didn't need. That's probably hurting my frame rate, but oh well. If I remember correctly, yeah, there is a cave down here. I should probably grab some sulfur. I do actually need sulfur. I just thought there might be some insects creeping about but there's not okay i guess we'll come out the cave we'll head this direct oh goodness <laughs> that is quite a rock. have they drawn a face is that like a face carved into the rock and that's something else right distracted let's let's keep looking it's very much nighttime now this is an old spaceship that i've already explored so i know there's nothing in there probably wait what's this what's this <gasps> I found one. A rare lava. We've got one. We found one. Okay, so they are literally just anywhere and they're tiny. Yeah, this is like the most challenging game of hide and seek I've ever played. Aha, look, another one. A common lava. Ooh, there's an uncommon lava. That looks disgusting. It looks like a seagull's foot. Like a little claw, a toe. Oh, let's move. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, we'll quickly grab some oxygen because our level is critical. The screen's going black. Quick, you. That was close. All right, and now I guess we'll just head back, trying to find more bugs on our way. Ooh, a common one. A common one. <laughs> Another common one. And then we're back in our base. So let's try and put some stuff in here. So what do we need again? We need mutagen and fertilizer as well as the lava. So to make mutagen, I need bacteria, methane, and sulfur and to make bacteria i need three algae and three waters so we'll jump down here grab some water from these grab some methane from in here and we'll grab some algae from under here because look it's all growing underneath so nom 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 more mutagen and then over here we can decide which we want to build so we've got well, i'm guessing it's random because all of these three butterflies they all take well they all take the same ingredients which is just rare lava so i'm guessing you don't really know what you're going to get but i do have a rare lava so we'll shove that in there with the fertilizer and mutagen press research yeah i think it tells us we're going to find a random butterfly so let's start sequencing and we'll leave that going all right so next up i think i need a few more lockers because i don't want to like put my insects in like the radioactive locker because then they'll just get like i don't know they'll turn to spider man or something so so another locker there and another locker there. We'll label this one bug snacks and we'll fill that with all the larvae and stuff. And this one is going to be mutagen stuff. So basically everything in here is going to be like algae and methane and mutagen as well as water. Basically all the ingredients we need to make that. Right. Oh, look at this. Look, there's butterflies everywhere. Look, we've got a, we've got a butterfly larvae, larva, larvae. I think that's a good one as well. Insect multiplier 3000. Whoa, look at them. Okay, so now we just need to work out how we actually put them into the planet from looking through the build menu the only thing i can see is the butterfly dome so let's build one of them but actually first if we head into this pod thing this is this is where i store my trophies very very strong trophy there uh, in this screen this oh yeah look this shows you how we unlock stuff so basically for the biomass we've unlocked everything for the plants we've unlocked those the next thing will be a butterfly farm at 1.25 kt and i assume they sit out outside whereas the butterfly dome is inside i tell you what it might be worth trying to get another 0.180 is that like killer suns or something but yeah it might be worth trying to get more plants because i have just unlocked the new tree spreader and then once we get insects we get these at the bottom so we get new tree seeds we get oh high quality food an outdoor farm insert vegetable seed to grow multiple ve <gasps> does that mean i can i can start growing eggplants outside oh speak of which my eggplants look they've grown so i can can literally come around i can take all the eggplants out replace them with seeds and once i've done all of them i can then just come to the top of my pile i can then just dump them all on top <laughs> this literally makes the game <laughs> right so yeah let's let's build a tree spreader t2 first because we've got the t1s and t2s about that is the t3 look how much taller it is so the main ingredient for that is fertilizer t2 oh that might be tricky let's go see what we need to make fertilizer t2 i don't think i have 
have any of that left. But in here, we can build it. Oh, no, we're going to need squash. I don't have any squash. Oh, this is sacrilege. I might literally have to stop growing some eggplants in favor of squash. Yeah, right. The greater good. Let's grab a load of squash seeds. I mean, to be honest, I probably don't actually need to grow that many. I only need one per fertilizer. So maybe I can grow six. Oh, I, I hate doing this, though. But yeah, let's take the eggplant seed out, replace it with a squash seed. I'm going to get destroyed in the comments for this. I can tell. Now, the good thing about the tree spreader T3 is look at the, the like resources we get from it. We get 12,500 oxygen and 680 plants a second. If we compare that to the T2, it's like so much more than double. So what I might do, I could just dig up my T2s and replace them with the T3s because all of these T2 ones, they do have the, the fertilizer inside them, but only one each. So I can take down two and replace it with one. I think I might actually do that. So we're going to have to take out the tree seed and then see you later see you later but now we can build a t3 one so let's plonk this like there i'll put my best tree seed in it which is that one i think that's the golden seed as well 350 percent multiplier oh well look there's lava down here common one common one come oh there's loads of lava down here. what the hell oh there's so many it's like someone's pooed everywhere <laughs> Oh well, yeah, I'm guessing these grow like in plants and stuff. So this is probably the best place to farm these. Oh, rare lava. Yes, please. We'll have some rare. Ah, my oxygen, my oxygen. Run, Matt. Run. Breathe. Oh. Okay, that was close. That was close. Got to keep an eye on the bottom left. All right, so let's just see what effect that new tree spreader had on the numbers. Oh, look how close we are. 1.19. How's the squash coming along? The squash, they're still growing. They're 50% of the way to being grown. Okay, we, we might have to wait a little bit longer, which means over here we can plonk in another rare lava, the fertilizer and mutagen, and we can do a bit of research, and hopefully this will be a new butterfly thing. Whilst that's doing that, I am going to jump down. I did actually find some T2 fertilizer, which means I can come over to this one, the most efficient tree spreader ever created. I can actually make it more efficient. So watch this. We're going to come into here. We're going to take that seed out oh man 400 percent we're gonna deconstruct this sorry mate but then we are gonna construct this one oh <laughs> it even spins that's insane right let's let's put the 400 percent seed in there Oh, yes, that is efficient. That is going to get us some seed spread. That is for sure. And then we can come over to this. Oh, I think it's the same. Yes, yeah, the same butterflies. Damn you, butterflies. So I guess we'll have another go because we do have another rare lava. So let's shove that in and give it a research. And whilst that's occurring, hopefully we've got enough stuff over here. 1.24k. Oh, we need 1.25. Damn it. I thought we needed 1.2, but we need 1.25. Okay, so we just need to build like one little crappy plant thing. I mean, there's a chance that my squash is done. What are they on? 77%. Okay, I think I'm just waiting for these to grow then. Two hours later. All right, so here we go. It's, it's, I think it's nighttime, but they've stopped. They've stopped spinning, which means they have grown, which means if we grab all of these, we should be able to come over here and make some fertilizer T2. Oh, no, we need fertilizer T1 to make fertilizer T2. I didn't realize that. So that's the fertilizer T1 created. And then we can make fertilizer T2 using that fertilizer T1 and some methane squash and algae. So there's that. We're going to grab some more algae. Nom, 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 nom. And whilst we're out here, bloody hell, that is efficient. Look at all the trees everywhere. There's literally trees everywhere. But they they go all the way down here. Blooming out. But yeah, you can see the spread of trees now. That is insane. That's awesome. Anyway, no time for that. We've got to keep making stuff. So fertilizer T2. There it is. There's another one. And a load of bacteria. All right, so then I've got all the resources I need. I'm going to go over to this. Oh, look, we got new butterflies. What's this one? The Penga Lava. Ooh, so we'll grab that. And then we can put another rare one in there with fertilizer and mutagen. Do a bit of research and then start sequencing. And then I've got a load of fertilizer T2, which basically means I can make loads of tea spreaders T3s. Or... Perhaps I should look into the butterfly farm. So I need zeolite and bioplastic nuggets. Now in one of these lockers, I do have bioplastic nuggets. Yeah, this one. So we'll grab a couple of those. And in here I have zeolite, so we'll grab those. And then in our bug snacks, we will grab... I'm guessing I just want the red ones. So sorry, Pengalava, you're going back in the box. Yeah, so I can build two butterfly farms. And then one, and then one tree spreader, as long as I have tree bark, super alloy, and zeolite. 
Super Alloy, Zeolite, and over here in the right nut, we have Tree Bark. So now we'll head downstairs. Oh man, why has it got all red? It's got all red. It's like they've undone everything I've done here. And then I don't really know where I want my butterfly farm, so I assume just in the middle. So butterfly farm, we'll shove that there. Oh, look at that. That's nice. And we can open it up and shove some butterflyage in there. And then <gasps> there's butterflies. There's butterflies. Yay. <laughs> Oh, that's quite nice. I like that. There's butterflies everywhere. Oh, wow. They are literally everywhere. Are they, are they invasive? Are butterflies an invasive species? I'm not sure about this. And look at the bottom. We are unlocking loads of stuff because we're racking up the old insect stuff. Now I'm going to shove another butterfly farm here. Go on, butterflies. Oh, this is lovely now. And look at all the trees. Yeah, so I've got another tree spreader. So since this is like pretty dense with trees... I guess I should shove one over here. Oh man, there's loads of new tree seeds to check out as well. Right, tree spreader, you're going to go over here. I really don't know what the radius is because the radius it tells you is not true at all. Like over there, there's trees for days. So I'm just going to shove this one there. Shove that tree seed inside. And oh, look, we've unlocked the outdoor farm. Oh no, we need bee lava for that. I don't know how to get bee lava. I haven't found any yet. But yeah, right, that should be doing its thing. Oh, look, there's lava everywhere. Are any of you bee lava? It would... <laughs> It looks like something's been laying orange turds everywhere. Oh, look, we got bonsai trees. We got bonsai trees. Oh, man, there's just tree seeds unlocking for days. This is awesome. So let's head back up to our base, go through the back door. And I assume in this DNA manipulator, is this where our new tree seeds are? Yeah, look, so that's a new one, definitely. There's all sorts. Nice. Oh, is there... Are there asteroids? There's asteroids incoming. What resources do you have? Anything rare or is it just normal? Oh, we've just unlocked a silk generator. There's so much there's so much being unlocked at the moment. We got a blueprint for fabric. <laughs> oh, there's lava growing on my base. I don't like this. <laughs> oh, look at these butterflies. They are green. Have I had them before? No, that is a new one. The butterfly chevron lava. Okay, we'll have some of you. All right, then let's go in here and let's see what we unlock next. So we've got the the lyax lava to unlock when we get more plants and then for the insects which is going up nicely oh wow we are unlocking fast another tree seed which we've just unlocked and a butterfly display box lovely so yeah i really want the outdoor farm but i honestly have no idea where to find bee lava unless i'm just really unlucky and it's really rare i don't know but for now since we've just missed a very nice terraformation index number which i'm very gutted about that is not nice uh, we will leave it there for today we've actually achieved a lot today i mean look at all these trees look at all these butterflies oh it's lovely all thanks to efficient engineer why why are you in the way tree you're, you're ruining my joke you're ruining my joke all right anyway peace love and insects bye